a sneak peek to the eye of the Greek. Hi, I'm Nicole. And I'm Ashley. And this is Sneak, sneak Peek in the, the Eye of the Greek. Now we're going to talk about the Persian Empire. Persia's doing amazing, building things all over South Asia. Can you believe it? I can believe it, and I can also believe there's a lot of traffic from all the production. Persia is in control of other people. It's crazy. What is really good for their economy, though? I guess the, it's good for their economy for now. Once it gets too big, the economy is just going to break. I agree with that. With their new king, Persia got to be even a more powerful kingdom than ever. It's not going to be. Unreal. It's not going to work. I agree on that, but he, it's crazy. He's just destroying the kingdom and making it too powerful. Breaking news! A king just came into command. His name is Cyrus. Wow. He just made Persia one of the strongest kingdoms ever. And, have, and has an amazing army. And it's not nothing compared to Greek. To I Greece. agree with that. Greece is amazing. They, if they even try to get near Greece, they're ruined. Yep. With their amazing army, Persia is now the strongest kingdom ever. It's unbelievable, and I hate it. Yeah, no. We can still take them. Totally. I can take them one-handed. <laughs> More breaking news. Persia's troops are now going through neighboring land and conquering them. All, with all their great okay. new king, Cyrus. If I live near them, if I live near Persia, I suggest getting out of there. Now Cyrus is holding his huge kingdom together by treating them fairly. Man, that's unbelievable. Pretty good, I guess. Better He's, than what our king does. Definitely. He's allowing them to even keep their languages, religions, and laws. It's crazy. I think I want to move there. Hopefully murder isn't one of their laws. Yeah, I just don't want to move. I, nah, I wouldn't leave Greece. Agreed yeah. on that. He's such a good king, though. Eh. Yeah. Also just in, when he took over Babylon, he let all the Jews go. Can you believe it? That's amazing. Too amazing. If I were Jew, I'd be very thankful, though. Same. Well, I guess the Jews got home. As Read them a laugh. <laughs> as the Persian Empire expanded, its increasing size made it more difficult to manage. Cy Cyrus is probably in big trouble. Called it. <laughs> and decreasing size is making it way too difficult for Cyrus. Maybe Darius and maybe given to command, even though he's Egypt's king. Nah. He reorganized the government for Cyrus. It makes it way more difficult to control. Isn't this this is way unbelievable? I know. It's kinda crazy. He just made the empire into a province and decided Paris. This stuff is gonna just fall down. I call I'm calling it, it's just gonna break. Each satrapy was ruled by a governor. One governor! It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's not gonna work. One person can't control a whole area. The governor's job was to collect the cat taxes, judge legal cases, manage the police and recruit soldiers from the Persian army. It's unbelievable. Persia's getting changed, changing every second. This doesn't make sense. They really shouldn't be doing this. It's unbelievable. I think it was perfectly fine before. Definitely. We'll be right, right back after these break. <laughs> Buy your snacks here to help support the um, athletic department for $1. One Don't make me holler. Hi, I'm Minta. And I'm Kay. And we're going to talk about some of the battles. Fish just in. King Darius sent 600 fleets and warships to the Plain of Marathon. Wow, that's a lot. I know, right? He's only fighting Athens, but apparently they're not going. Hmm. Scary cats, right? <laughs> yeah. But as the Persians moved towards, because they were sick of waiting, they were going to go straight into Athens. I mean, that's sort of cruel. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. So the Athens like sneak attacked and they pounced and they slaughtered the Persians. Let's take a for us. sneak peek. <laughs> Somebody has to know. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
surviving soldiers ran all 26 miles back to Athens just to say victory, but then he died of exhaustion. I couldn't run six of those miles. I would die of two. <laughs> okay, now we're going to talk about Thermopylae. Well, King Xerxes, he took power recently. Y'all know him. Yeah. Some people call him Xerxes Jerk. <laughs> Appropriate. And so, the mysticals, and we'll, we'll be, be right, right back, back after, after some, some commercials. commercials here to help support the um, athletic department for one dollar. One dollar. That will make me holla. The Athenian ships led by the mysticals were attacking the Persians. How? Now this is how it led to Salamis. Tell them, Madison. <laughs> King Xerxes just took power in wow. Persia. In wow, Persia. that's big. Yeah. And he also just sent 200,000 troops, warships, and supply vessels straight into Athens. The Mysticals, who's leading Athens' forces, wants to cut off Persia's supplies. Well, he's smart. I know, right? I would do that. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> what? The Athenian ships led by the Mysticals were attacking the Persians. How? Now this is how it led to Salamis. The Persians are positioning their fleet at the mouth of the Bay of Salamis, thinking that they can catch our Greek sailors before they get to their ships. No way. I know, because they're walking into Greek trap. As the Persian ships are entering the bay, our Greek ships, hiding in the channel beyond the bay, will hit them from the side. That's a good battle plan. Yeah, and because there's so many Persian ships and the bay is so narrow, it'll be difficult for the Persians to move around. Greece What's will take the advantage? Yeah, Greece will take the battle. Yeah. We'll, we'll be, be right, right back, back after, after some, some commercials. commercials. We're next here to help support the um, athletic department for $1. One dollar. That will make me holla. You know that battle we were talking about before the commercial break? Well. We won it! We did? Yeah, it's great! Yes. There's a new battle going on. Aww. The battle of Plataea is taking place just north of Athens, on the border between Addisa and Beoeta. In the battle of Plataea, a combined Greek force of Spartans, Tegans, and Athenians from 31 different cities states I know! Are helping fight off the Persians and their Greek allies, the Thebians who went over to the Persian side during these wars. In the final battle of the Persian Wars, on our land, the Spartans are working on killing the Persian general, Mardonius, and the Athenians are trying to destroy the Thebian secret band. Cool. I, I hope know. that actually works. <laughs> Me too. Well, that's all for now. Bye. And now, back, back to, to Nicole, Nicole and Ashley. Ashley. At first, Bart was fine with guard, Athens guarding the treasure aims. It only kept, Athens only kept one sixtieth of the money coming in from the city-states to pay for guards. They reported to all the city-states on what the <laughs> money had paid for and who paid it within a short amount of time of, of the time of treasury. One day, Athens and Sparta got in a, got in a fight about something. There was a what was that something? It was a meaningless fight. It was over who would... It was over who was in charge of the treasury. It was not over who was in charge of the treasury. It was not over anything really, but this small fight started a war between Athens and Sparta that la it, they say it's going to last over 25 years. This war started calling the Peloponnesian War. In the third year of, now in the third year of the war, more than half the people in the city states in the city of Athens died. They, that, they didn't die from fighting but from illness. One of those who died was the young leader, Persiles. Things got much worse after that, after, things got much worse after Athens 
suffer from poor leadership, lack of food, and continued illness. They're starving. The Spartans surrounded the town. Athens could not even get their crops. Finally, April, finally, April, the year of 404 BC, Athens surrendered despite the bitterness of the Spartans. Despite the bitterness, the Spartans were generous. They did not listen to Corinth, Thebes, Corinth and Thebes, who wanted them to level the town. Instead, they made Athens a satellite state under Spartan oligarchy. It was the end of democracy. Since Athens was defeated, Athens had regained much of its old strength. But Athens wasn't as amazing as it is. Athens isn't as amazing as it is before, as it was before. Great teachers, great thinkers, and great teachers who continue to live in Athens now. In time, Athens could have been back to its former glory, only it was running out for all the Greek city states in the country. That's the end of the news for today. Thanks, Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching. It's me, Peek. It's the Eye of the Greek. Greek.